Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas, Thursday, February the 22nd, and welcome to our video commentary. You know, we've been having a lot of conversation in the country about the tragedy in South Florida, and I think conversation is always a good thing. People need to talk about these problems, they need to put ideas on the table, but I think yesterday, Wednesday, we saw an example of how to do it and an example of how not to do it. So let's look at the good example first. And that was President Trump at the White House. He invited some parents. He invited some students. They sat around. They had a very serious and thoughtful discussion uh, about what happened. And I thought the, the father of that young woman, Mr. Bell, I thought he was right on target. He basically said, hey, you know, let's do something about school safety. Uh, let's do something now. Uh, let's not play politics, let's do something about school safety. And I think he's exactly right, he's exactly right. Let's make sure that these kids are protected in school. That's the number one priority. That should not be a political issue. I think everybody wants to make sure that kids are protected in school. So I thought that was very effective on the part of President Trump, and I thought, again, this gentleman, Mr. Bell, did a fantastic job uh, speaking on behalf of many of us who want to see this issue focus on school security. Over at CNN, they had the exact opposite. They had a campaign rally, basically, against the NRA. I mean, that's what that was. They filled the room with a bunch of emotional young people who were asking questions of Senator Rubio and, and Lena Lo, uh, Dana Loish of the NRA, and it became nothing but a bashing and attack on the NRA, and I think that was very unfortunate because attacking the NRA is not going to get us anywhere. The NRA is a legal organization, and the members of the NRA are legally law-abiding Americans who are not doing anything wrong. And to attack the NRA, I think, is extremely counterproductive. Politically, also very counterproductive, because I think when you attack the NRA, all you do is energize them to show up to vote and make sure that they defend what they believe is their legitimate right uh, to the Second Amendment. So... I thought CNN did a very bad job last night. I mean, it totally got out of control and, and, and it didn't move the ball forward. Whereas the presentation over at the White House, I thought was a lot more serious, a lot more thoughtful, and probably something more will come out of that presentation at the White House than what we saw over at, uh, at CNN, which I repeat was nothing but a campaign rally against, uh, against the NRA. Well, that's it. Let's keep talking, but let's make sure we focus on two things, school safety and background checks. That's all we got to worry about, school safety and background checks. Let's make sure the schools are safe, and let's make sure the background checks actually have background information about the people who want to buy, who want to buy guns. Thank you for watching. We have all of these uh, commentaries over at uh, YouTube. We also have them on my Twitter. And we also have them over at my blog. By the way, this is February 22nd. This is George Washington's birthday. So if you have a minute today, check out something about George Washington. Uh, a great, uh, if not the greatest, of all Americans. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.